Hey everyone, Chris here. Thanks for coming by. Hey, I'm really happy you came by to do some contour drawing today. And we're just gonna do a simple drawing of a paintbrush. This is a Raphael uh, watercolor brush. And I use this brush, you know, all the time on my YouTube channel. So you'll see me paint with this brush all the time. And it's kind of got that really interesting uh, orange uh, tip on the end. And that's uh, the Raphael uh, 64, oh, it's an 8404 uh, Kalinsky Sable brush, made in France. And it's a number eight brush. I use this all the time when I paint. So we're going to contour draw this. And this, this basic video is just a simple exercise, a composition for all of us, you and I, to get together and do a quick drawing of this brush so that at any time if we want to create this same brush within one of our paintings, we can just put this brush down onto a table with a couple flowers and a vase and, uh, you know, some fruit, a coffee cup or a tea cup, whatever it is. We put this brush down and we'll we'll have practiced it a couple times like we're doing now so that we know how to do it when we get to that moment that we're going to actually put a paintbrush into our painting and we're going to draw and paint it. We'll have a much easier way of understanding it by contour drawing it first here, doing it separate. Obviously, if you separate things and you paint and draw one thing at a time, and get a little bit of an understanding of it and practice it a few times, it's way easier than when you try it in another painting where you might have this in addition to other things like a flower, you know, a flower arrangement, some fruit, some coffee cups, tea cups, maybe, you know, some other items. So let's do that. Let's focus in on just one thing. Let's contour draw just this one paintbrush, this one watercolor brush. Okay. Now here I have the finished contour drawing with some shading and we're going to do that right now so this is what it's going to look like when we're finished so let's start out by just taking one quick note before we start contour drawing this is let's just note that this is a simple shape really this is just basically a cylinder so this is basically a cylinder, like this. And then if we were to see this like in a three-dimensional view or be able to see through this with x-ray vision, if we had x-ray vision, we would see that there's angles on this. So it's basically really a cylinder around cylindrical object and then here so we have the angle there and then we don't see this other circular part behind the brush but that's it's there right does that make sense and then here and then here we have the, t the tip where the uh, the hairs of the brush are so just remember that there's those circular occurring shapes along this cylinder, which is a, really a complete cylinder, really. Just like that. It's a cylinder, basically. Okay, so let's, let's draw it, understanding that there are some curves to some of the lines. We wouldn't want to draw this with straight lines like this. In here. Does that make sense? These have, that's the only thing you have to worry about when you actually draw a paintbrush like this, is you want to just have some curves to these lines. This one's a little more straight, but it still has a curve to it. And this one too. This, this one has a curve to it. This line here, where the orange paint is. So there's some curve there, there's some curve here, and there's some curve here. 
at these locations. So if you remember that, that's that'll you'll be 100% you know ahead of the curve on this. Not, no pun intended, because there's curves to these lines, like that. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's begin our drawing. And again, we're going to aim for this type of drawing. We're going to draw this, contour draw this, and then we're going to add a little bit of shading with a crayon for shadowing under here. So I have a Faber-Castell uh, crayon, black crayon. It's a uh, Schwartz Black 9201-199. Schwartz Black 9201-199. Black crayon by Faber-Castell. And uh, you can use any type of uh, drawing utensils, pencils, pens, sharpies, whatever you want. I'm going to use a Uniball Vision Elite. This is a Uniball Vision Elite pen. It's like, a, you know, an office pen, really. So I'll use that to draw first, and then we'll shade in with a Sharpie. And we'll also shade in with, a again, the Faber-Castell crayon. You can use any black crayon. You can use a China marker black crayons, uh, whatever you want. That's up to you. Okay, so let's start out. First thing we do, if you want, if you're tentative and you say, you know what, uh, I'm a little bit shaky on this, no big deal. You could start off, actually, with a ruler if you want to get your straight line. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can get a straight line with your ruler like so. I'll, I'll move it down a little bit like that. You can do a super light pencil line. Just super light. Don't do it dark. Just like that. Now you have a super light pencil line so that you kind of have a straight line to work with when you're doing your, your contour drawing. So now I'm going to use a pen instead. I encourage everybody to use pens when you're drawing. Just do tons of drawings. Just do just take pens, use use black pens, blue pens. Black pens look the best. Use black pens all the time. Black, you know, uh, ballpoint pens, gel pens, black anything. Black pens is is just great. And you just keep drawing with those all the time. And what it does is, you just you continue to draw, and you don't worry about erasing with pencil lines and things like that. So when you draw with pens, it kind of like just forces you to do the drawing. Get it done. If it looks good, great. If not, put it aside, grab a new piece of paper, and start another one. That's that's the goal. Okay, let's start out here. Okay, we said we're going to do the cylinder-type shapes here. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. We just retrace our line there. Do another, cir cir you know, circular uh, shape like that, and then we do our okay. And then we get wider here, and then we taper back this way, like that. There we go, perfect. And then we're remember we're going to do that cylinder shape. So we're not going to go with a straight line. We're going to do a cylinder shape like that. And that's all you got. And you're set. Now all we have to do is the front and the... Uh, right now we're going to do the hairs of the brush. Let's do that. Okay. And you can retrace your lines if you want to get it better. And that's it. There we have it. Look at that. Perfect. We did our main features correctly, which is angle, you know, or, or curve. Curve these lines. Curve, curve, curve. Again, we were curving these lines. We weren't going for a straight line there. We're going for a curved line like this. Right? Here, the same thing. Curve line here at the ferrule of the brush. The front portion of the ferrule where it meets the brush hairs and then the other 
other side of the ferrule of the brush. So, you know, we want those curves there, like that. And then over here, we did the same thing. We got the curve here, like that, at the end of the brush. The curve the opposite direction. Versus a straight line like that, which is, no, we don't want that. We want to do a curve there. Just a little bit of a curve. There you go. See how we did that? That's all you need to know. All right, cool. Let's get shading on this. I'm going to use a Sharpie. I'm going to look at this and say, okay, the Sharpie is dark. The color of the painted brush here is dark, completely black. Okay, then we have a very fine line of white light bouncing off the brush, like that, right down the center. Then we have another dark portion of painted brush handle, like so, and then it's a little lighter underneath. So we take our dark Faber-Castell crayon, black crayon, and we make a dark under here, but not quite as dark as the black magic marker that we're using, the Sharpie. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. That looks exactly like it is in real life. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to do the ferrule of the brush. The metal part. The nickel. It's nickel. It's made of nickel. Here, there's a lot more light bouncing around off that ferrule of the brush, so let's just keep it. Let's keep it true to what we see, like that. A dark, a dark, a uh, dark, the darkest dark you can get with the Sharpie, right down the center. A little bit of highlight. I mean, a little bit of shading, middle middle value, middle tonal value with the crayon on upper and lower side of that dark line in the middle. And then we leave the white paper on the bottom and the top of that metal nickel ferrule. There we go. That's all you need. And then you just do some dark darks here for your paintbrush, your actual hairs of the brush, with a little bit of uh, crayon on the upper and lower portions of that. And then we just get a little bit of shading going. Let's do a little bit of shading underneath it. Just like this. That's all we need to do. Just a little bit of shading underneath. Like that. And this is a little, this is the orange. Like that. All right, that's it. Complete. Have fun with this. Again, we used our Faber-Castell crayon, black crayon. We used a Sharpie. Here we used our Sharpie. And we used a black Uniball Vision Elite office pen to draw this. That's all you need. You use these few things here, and we used a ruler to get a straight line when we started for our paintbrush, and that's all you need. So let's have fun, give this a try, try this numerous times, try this once, twice, three times, four times, take a break, two, three months from now, try it again a couple times, make a note for yourself to practice this a few times here and there, and then the next time when you have a painting where you have a paintbrush in it, you're going you're gonna to do it like a pro, and you, you'll, have it, you'll have it down, you'll know exactly what to do, no hesitation, you'll just get it done, draw it. With pencil first when you're doing a watercolor you're going to draw it with pencil first and then you paint it in with your watercolors all right everybody have fun with this again subscribe if you haven't subscribed please hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you get my videos this way you can practice along with me come on practice along with me draw draw a lot get yourself a whole bunch of printer paper this is all this is printer paper here Get yourself a bunch of printer paper, and we're just going to do tons of exercises here on my channel uh, going forward now into the future. We're going to do lots of drawings together so you can practice up on your drawing skills. You need to practice your drawing skills. That's the most important thing. If you can practice drawing, 
you'll have way you'll have so much fun with your with your watercolors with your paintings okay all right we'll see you on the next video everybody bye bye